we worship you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we give you praise. Be thou glorified. Be thou exalted. For you are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the everlasting Father. You are the Prince of Peace. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are greater than the greatest. You are stronger than the strongest. You are the miracle working God. Lord, we worship. Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor. Lord, we adore you because you are God. Be glorified. Be exalted. Because you are the King of kings. Who can compare with you, our God? Not to be compared to your matchless work. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we exalt you. Hallelujah. Lord, we lift up our hands and we worship your group. We worship your majesty. Hallelujah. Be glorified. Be
the Lord of Lords. Worship the great I am. Worship the too much God. The only potent God. The everlasting Father. Father, we worship. Lord, we worship your majesty. Lord, we bring our basis to you, Jesus. Lord, we bless you, Lord. We worship, Lord. 
cancer. On Thursday, by 5 p.m., we gathered here again for another Holy Ghost encounter. Please make sure you come around. Then the BIG program is ongoing every Saturday, 8.30 to 9 a.m. on Dove Television, Start Time Decoder 464, Concert Decoder Channel 0940. And uh, please make sure you watch. As you do so, you will help yourself to be built up and also have something to use to help others who are also falling apart so that God will put us together for his soon coming. Praise the Lord. The Gideonite prayer blessing is ready for collection in the admin block. Please pick a copy and pray for this ministry. The 24 by 7 prayer, which is also there, please come one hour to pray for Nigeria and the rest of the world. The Lord will bless us as we do so in Jesus' name. Mission prayer group meetings is every Thursday by 4 p.m. prompt. All members are encouraged to attend and pray to move the work of the kingdom of God forward. And as a result too, there will be meeting for the short-term mission group members with Elder Adewumi immediately after the service at the Elder's Corner. Please make sure you attend. All blessed single teams, um, all blessed singles team members are to please remain seated at the end of the morning service to receive some important information. Then the blessed monthly general meeting for March comes up this week, Saturday the third, on railroad land where we are seated now. So the team is identifying uh, the team is identity theft. Who do you resemble or who do I resemble? Please make sure you come and know whom you are supposed to resemble. The time is 3.30 p.m. Please pray ahead, plan to attend, invite others also to come. All blessed ESCO, cell group leaders and their assistants are reminded that they are required to assist the cell group with the worship, with the worship hall sweeping roster to tidy up the worship auditorium at Rehoboth Re Re Land every Saturday by 1 p.m. until service and move back to Bethel Land when the proper roster will be made. Praise the Lord. Altar of Mercy hosts tomorrow at Rehoboth Land. It is tagged a day of good news and is taken from 2 Kings 7, 6 to 9. So take time to fast before coming tomorrow. Every woman is expected to fast and come. And the Lord will hear our cry in Jesus' name. I think one day you should invite us also to join. Because I do hear that cry. Me too. I stay in my office and pray at times. Praise the Lord. All glory women will wait immediately after the service for a brief meeting. Mission Support Group will meet on Saturday by 3 p.m. Please be punctual and bring gift for missionary children. The monthly fasting and prayer session of the ADS Prison Discipleship will take place this week, Friday, 2nd. Uh, prayer will commence inside the vehicle as the team return from the day's visit to the prison. Please take note. The Abiokuta ADS Prison Discipleship brethren are uh, to please note that the next visit comes up next week, Saturday, the 10th. Please remember to come along with, along fasting and prepare to teach courses 1 and 2, English and Yoruba. Bring your personal English and Yoruba Bibles for teaching. And please make sure you are there on time. Departure time is 7 a.m. We will not wait for anybody because the time the distance is fairly long. So the vehicle will take off immediately 7 a.m. Immediately at 7 a.m. The blessed IT unit volunteers 
the, okay, the blessed IT unit volunteers are reminded that data entry into the blessed uh, 2018 database via Excel will continue inside the outreach hall at the end of this morning general blessed meeting. Please make sure you, you come and help. Then the blessed ancestry prayer uh, meeting we hold inside the 24 by 7 prayer room at the close of this service at uh, the close of service next week the 4th of march all are cordially invited the members the the all members of medical team that have indicated interest to be part of the medical outreach in the southeast are to please meet with Momichi from or meet with Momichi immediately okay after the worship service besides the choir stand please make sure you are there um, pharmacist this following pharmacist Ishola Ishola and Baba Lola should also be in the attendance Mix, mixless, the laws and love cell groups are to please worship with the children. So if you are seated here, please move them to better land to be with the children. There will be a, a, a meeting of the glory men immediately after the service on the noble land. Also, men's esco and Jilida will meet immediately after the men's general meeting. Please take note. The children team would like to announce that the babies class has resumed for babies from one year old. So please, if you have a year old baby, take it to the children's section from today. Also, parents whose children are in boarding school should please come and fill the bow statistic, uh, statistic form on their behalf immediately after the service. Mission support group meetings on Saturday will be at the robot land at the back of the hall. Please take note. Please take note to read um, the scripture for the week. It's taken from 1 Timothy 4, 8 to 9. And then the testimony here from a sister. You also have the pastor's text and his titled Transformation into His Image. Please make sure you read. The ADI Prison Discipleship Prayer Meeting comes up on Thursday at the 24 by 7 prayer room. The time is 4.30 uh, p.m. prompt. Please make sure you are there. So the family of Mr. and Mrs. Peter Uriyeme Sincerely wish to appreciate the leadership and the entire congregation of the Lord Tabernacle Ministry for the support given to them during and after this wedding that took place yesterday. It is their prayer that the Lord will bless each and everyone in Jesus' name. The families of Sister Olu Wulabi and Sister Kika Ilori express their profound gratitude to the church and the leadership for the support also given to them towards the burial of their mother yesterday. Mama Roda Mudukwe Oyetayo were there yesterday. It was a glorious one. It is their prayer that God will bless you in return in Jesus' name. So our sister Tuluwani Ola Mitoke's mother passed on during the course of the week. Better arrangement will be announced later. Uh, Baba Olua Femi, who passed on a few weeks ago, will be buried this week, weekend. The wake up is on Friday, 2nd of March. The venue is Rebord Land. The time is 5 p.m. While the burial service will be on Saturday, it will be at the Tarmac at Better Land on that Saturday. The time is 10 a.m. Praise the Lord. 
Uh, we want to recognize those who are fellowshipping with us on Sunday. Today is your first time of worshiping with us on Sunday. We want you to be on your feet for proper recognition. The people around there will give you a warm handshake. Today is your first time of fellowshipping with us on Sunday. You may have come any other day. Nobody? Okay, praise the Lord. Okay, please. All right, please bring him or her to the front. church today. Praise be the Lord. The psalmist declared, he said, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors, and let the King of glory enter. Come in. Who is this King of glory? Jehovah, who is mighty in battle. Jehovah, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the I am that is I am. The one that was, that is, and is to come. The one that rules and reigns in the affairs of men. The one that declares the end from the beginning. He is a faithful God. He is the one we worship in this place. He is the one we honor. He is the one we glorify. He is the Lord over his people. The Lord is God. The Lord is King. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is dependable. The Lord answers prayers. Unto him shall all flesh come. You are welcome in Jesus' name. It is important that we know who we are serving. Because if you don't know who you are serving, the tendency is for you to be discouraged along the line. God is God. Even over the affairs of this nation, Nigeria, God is God. I'm sure some of you heard some of the things that happened during the week that some young girls were carted away by Boko Haram in one of the uh, schools in um, a technical government school in Yobe State. When you look closely, it seems there are some wicked people apart from the the Boko Haram themselves who are benefiting from such events. 
and for second thessalonians chapter 1 verse 3 tells us that it is when we see that it is a righteous thing for god to meet out recompense of tribulation unto those that trouble us these are troublers of nigeria and we will lift up our voices this morning and call upon our god to trouble those who are troubling us i don't know whether you feel the way i'm feeling inside you can imagine the parents of these children even these children and some of our leaders are not even behaving and speaking what we bring comfort and consolation to the parents and the people concerned. Shall we be on our feet, please? I want you to lift up your voice unto the Lord. That scripture says, Seeing it is a good thing with our God to recompense tribulation unto those that trouble you unto those that are troubling us in nigeria let god arise let his enemies be scattered over this land those who profit from wickedness in this land let god arise and judge them lord let your judgment come upon the wicked in this land those whose hearts are set at perpetrating wickedness those whose hearts are set at causing others to cry and mourn and sigh and weep. Lord, meet out recompense of tribulation unto them. Let God, our God, arise, O God. Meet out tribulation unto those that are troubling us in Nigeria. Lord, you know them in their numbers. You know them in their estates. You know them in their various places. Lord, let your judgment come upon those who are troubling us in this land. Those who do not want us to have peace. Those who do not want us to have progress. Those who do not want us to serve the Lord with singleness of heart. Those who do not want us to rest in our various homes and places. Those who want to truncate the destiny of people. Lord, meet out tribulation unto them. Those who have given the devil room in their lives to use to cause agony, pain, ah, in the heart of others, by whatsoever name they go by. Lord, meet out tribulation. Meet out tribulation unto them. Recompense unto them tribulation, Lord. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Oh Lord, let God, oh Lord, I can rise. Oh, let him judge. Oh, let him judge. Let him judge.
creator of all flesh, our God, our Lord, the one who fights his battles without spears or arrows. Oh Lord, our God, we come this hour, joining our voices with other children of God calling upon you over the affairs of this land, Nigeria. Nigeria is yours. The government, the people, the land, the wealth of this nation belong to you. But behold, the wicked who have sold themselves out unto the devil and his cohort to trouble us in this land. By whatsoever name they go, Lord, you know them. They kill and maim. And they are being supported by wicked men too. They abduct. They kidnap. They rob. They kill. And they maim. Without milk of kindness in them. Ah. Oh Lord our God. Arise in your supple displeasure. Arise, O oh God. Arise as the mighty terrible one. Arise against the enemies of this nation. Lord, deal with them. Recompense unto them tribulations. Give them out of that which they have been doing against the people of the Lord. Let them see and know that you rule and reign in the affairs of this nation. Lord, how long shall the wicked prosper in this land? How long shall the wicked doers boast themselves? Oh, sovereign Lord, arise, arise like the mighty terrible one and fight this battle. Fight this battle, Lord. You are our God. You are the captain over the affairs of this nation. Once again, we declare the lordship of Jesus Christ over this nation. Get these young ones that have been abducted released, Lord. Restrain their captors from doing them any evil. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, you said you will have mercy upon whom you have mercy and compassion unto whom you have compassion. For the sake of your children in this land, for the sake of your church, we ask, O oh God, that you showed Nigeria mercy. Show Nigeria kindness. Because if you will mark iniquity, we can't stand before you. Therefore, we plead with you. We beseech you, dear Father. Let your mercy prevail over this land. But let not the wicked go unpunished. Thank you, Father. We believe you, Lord, that you will do beyond our asking. All to the praise and glory of your name. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Keep on praying for Nigeria. It shall be well with Nigeria. Therefore, we will affirm our hope in our God. We affirm our hope in the Lord by singing that song in our information bulletin. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but Holy lean on Jesus' name. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. We shall sing this song standing. <laughs> Holy Lord, 
place our hands on our chest and tell God, please, if ever I will love you, it is now. May I love you more than ever before. This song is very apt, and that is the essence of calling ourselves Christians. Let us appreciate him for loving us. Let us ask him that we want to love him also. Let us pray that we will love, love him with the sincerity of our hearts. In the name of Jesus. Glory voices, please help us take it. If ever I love you. My Jesus, it is now. Please let's join to sing this song. Let's mean it.
person say the same thing over and over again so that it will be inscribed on our heart so that we will not forget it because what God is doing in our life in recent times we have to know that God is sounding his trumpet that is coming is very very close can you say the coming of the Lord is very very close very very close closer than we are thinking because we see what is happening around us and as its children we just have to know this that we don't have to to sleep hallelujah I said Colossians chapter 2 okay let's take it from let's take just uh, verse, verses 13 to 15 Colossians chapter 2 I will take verses 13 to 15 and you've been dead in your sins and your own circumcision. In the circumcision of your flesh, as he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. Verse 15. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Hallelujah. Now let's look at Colossians also, Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1, I will also uh, read from verses 13. Colossians chapter 1. Let me read from verse 13. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. Who in the image of the invisible God the firstborn of every creature verse 16 for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in us visible and invisible whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created by him and for him verse 17 and he is before all things and by him all things consist Hallelujah. Uh, you will recall that in Philippians chapter 2 from verses 8 to uh, 11, the Bible tells us that God has so exalted the name of Jesus Christ and has given him a name that is above every other name. Hallelujah. So the topic we are considering this, this morning is Jesus Christ is Lord. Can you say Jesus Christ is Lord? Please, I can't hear you distinctly. Jesus Christ is Lord. Can you shout it? Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. There are so many situations or circumstances around us that are trying to lord it over us, to exert on us, to prove that they are stronger. And most times, we tend to see them the way they confront us we tend to agree with them the way they post themselves to be. But if we have Christ in us, we will know that whatever happens, everything, everything has a name. And if they have a name, then there is a name that is exalted above all other names. And so when we are talking of, about Jesus Christ is Lord, it is important to, for us to know that Jesus being the Lord has so many things to understand. Now, what is, let's just look at the word Lord. What does it mean when you're talking of Lordship? Let's, what is the meaning of Lord? If you say somebody is a Lord, you mean that person has power and authority over others. If you say that person has power and authority over others. A Lord can be a ruler by hereditary right or preeminence to whom service 
and obedience are due. A lord may be an owner of something, a possession. He can also be a man of rank or high position. He can be a person of dignity. A lord is a person of honor. He's also a person of majesty. So if the scripture calls our Lord Jesus Christ Lord, we have to know that Jesus Christ has power and authority over every creation. In Colossians chapter 2 verses 13 and 15 where we read, we have seen there that Jesus Christ is all in all. Is the creator. Is the one that can that can exercise authority over any situation. Is the one who has the power to say what the end of a situation or what the fate of that situation should be. And so this morning I bring to us word of courage, word of assurance. And as children of God, that we should be bold in every situation because the world is gradually widening up. And I want to plead with us that we pay due attention, rapt attention to this message. And I pray the Holy Spirit will speak to your heart in Jesus' name. So when we say Jesus Christ is Lord, we have, you know, in, this, in a very simple way, we have looked at what the word Lord means. We have lords in everywhere, you know, uh, in so many titles. So people use this as title. My lord, spiritual and temporal, we use that also. But we also have so many lords. We have lords in the, in the Bible too. But those, those lords are small lords. But they are not lords, but they, they ascribe that power to themselves. The power God has not given them. As we go along, uh, the, this message will be hearing more of it. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus Christ, being Lord, is Lord over all. That's the first thing we have to know. Is Lord, Jesus Christ is Lord over all. Anything you can mention at all. When you mention the devil, when you mention your problem, when you mention sickness, when you mention creation, anything you mention, Jesus Christ is Lord of all. In Revelation chapter 19, verse, verse 16, the Bible says, Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And in Philippians chapter 2, verses 8 to 11, where we read, we see that he has been given a name that is above all other names. In Acts chapter 10 verse 36, the scripture says, Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Many things will pass through difficulties and um, setbacks and everything. They have Lord behind them. But I want you to get ready to know that Whatever you are passing through, Jesus Christ is Lord over all. Can you say, Jesus Christ is Lord over all? Now, Jesus Christ is also Lord over sin. Jesus Christ is Lord over sin. In Romans chapter 6, verse 10, the Bible says, When Christ Jesus died, he died for our sins once and for all. He died for our sins. The only one who had ever died for, for the sin of man acceptable before God. The only acceptable sacrifice for the sin of men to be uh, cancelled, to be forgotten. So that we can be seen as saved and as radiant as God had desired it from the beginning. So, Jesus Christ 
is Lord over sins because he himself died to pay for our sin. Hallelujah. We also see in uh, 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 18 confirming the death of our Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done. It's 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 18. It says, for Christ died for, for sins once and for all a good man on behalf of sinner so that he might bring us to God having been put to death in the flesh but made alive in the spirit. Jesus Christ did not just die and remain there. He is Lord over death. Jesus Christ is Lord over death. Can you say Jesus is Lord over death? Jesus Christ is Lord over death. In John chapter 10 verse 18, our Lord Jesus Christ says, the death that I died, nobody could have killed me. In, verse 10, in chapter 10 verse 18, he says, I laid down my life by myself. It was because I laid it down that I was able to die. So nobody could have taken the life of Jesus if not that he laid it down for the salvation of men. Hallelujah. So it's Lord over, over death. And to confirm that in John chapter 11 verse 43 and verse 44. John 11, 43 and 44. You see an account of Lazarus when our Lord Jesus Christ said, Lazarus, the person who had, been died, who had died for four days. Jesus Christ got there and said, Lazarus, come forth. And in verse 44, the Bible says that he that was dead rose up. He became a living soul again. Because Jesus Christ demonstrated to us that he has power over this. Hallelujah. He also has power over storms. Storms of life. In Matthew chapter 4 verse 39. Matthew chapter 4 verse... Uh, sorry, Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4 verse 39. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Peace be still to the troubled water. Say, peace be still. And the storm obeyed him instantly in a way that it surprised his disciples. And they looked at themselves and wondered. And they said, ah, even the sea, even the wind obeyed this man. Because he is Lord over storms. Whatever the storm a person passes through in this life, Jesus Christ, if Jesus is the Lord of that person, then that storm must be calm. Jesus Christ is also Lord over hell. Is Lord over ages. In Revelation chapter 1, verse 18, Revelation chapter 1, verse 18, our Lord Jesus Christ said, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I'm alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hell and death. He has the key. He is in control of everything, either death or even in hell. He has power. And that is why, as we read in Colossians chapter 2 from verses 13 to 15, we see how he made a public show of the devil because he took captive, uh, uh, cap captors captive. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is also Lord over sicknesses and diseases. He is Lord over sicknesses and diseases. In Mark chapter 10, verses 51 to 52, we see the account. Mark chapter 10, let's quickly look at Mark chapter 10. 51 and 52. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What 
wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man, Bartimaeus, answered and said, That I may see. And he said, Your faith has made you whole. And the blindness disappeared. His eyes popped open. Also, in Mark chapter 5, verses 30, uh, verse 30, verses 8 and 34, we see the woman with the issue of blood. How our Lord Jesus Christ also healed her. There are so many afflictions written in the scripture and the various miracles our Lord Jesus Christ performed to show to us that he is Lord over everything. Nothing can lord it over him. He is the one that lords over everything because he is the one that has power and authority over everything. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. hallelujah. He also has power over principalities and powers. He has power over principalities and powers. If we look at Ephesians chapter 1 verses 19 to 23 Ephesians chapter 1 verses 19 to 23 the Bible reads and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us what who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Verse 21 Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come and has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Hallelujah. So Jesus Christ is, is Lord over principalities and powers uh, that we claim to be oppressing us. Hallelujah. We see instances of how our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, has dealt with all these things and much more. We can't go on uh, mentioning everything, but you know that our Lord Jesus Christ is a miracle worker and is able to do all things. We have people in the scripture who demonstrated, who showed, who proved and behaved as if they won't die. As if they had all the powers. As if they, they are the Lord over every situation. And they were behaving as if they would never die. Now, if we look at Isaiah chapter 36, Isaiah chapter 36, we see uh, the king of Assyria, Sennacherib. Verse 4. Verse 13 to 15. I am just mentioning some of the uh, verses that they will. Rabshakel, I mean, uh, Sennacherib, he said to Ezekiel, the like people of uh, Judah, that don't worry. Ezekiel is deceiving you. Rabshakel said, Have you ever heard of what you are saying? What, 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 what is Ezekiel saying? Has he ever heard that somebody else overcame them before? And he was praising Sennacherib. He was exalting him as Lord. He's a king has spoken. <laughs> well, uh, Sennacherib behaved as a Lord there, thinking that he would overcome uh, the children of God. The same thing in verses uh, 13 to 15. But in verses 36 and 34, because Sennacherib was not the Lord. He was just a small Lord, human being, powerless, inconsequential person. In verses 36 
and 38. After he stretched his hand to oppress the people of God, what happened to him? His children killed him. First, God himself intervened, intervened by killing 185 uh, people in that place. And so when he discovered that they were dead, he fled. He ran to Nineveh. But when he got there, in verse 38, what happens to him? His two children, they killed him. He died because he doesn't have, I mean, he didn't have all the power. He's not the Lord of lords. What about Nebuchadnezzar? In Daniel chapter 4, verses 30 to, 40, uh, to 37, uh, precisely in verse 30, Daniel demonstrated pride. He demonstrated pride. And through to 37, we see that because he arrogated himself and, and said he has built so much things for him and that uh, by his power he was able to do all these things. He was ascribing greatness to himself. He was calling himself Lord over his possession. Suddenly, God smote him. And the one who had been in the palace, who was being praised, Kabisi, who was always being exalted, who had arrogated the power that did not belong to him, to himself, found himself to be living with beasts in the, in the forest and was there for seven seasons. I pray that the Lord will open our understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, his son, Beshazzar, in Daniel chapter 5, verses 2 to 5, Daniel chapter 5, verses 2 to 5, also was proud he was he, he was so he, he didn't he didn't fear god the the thing his father nebuchadnezzar brought to babylon from the temple of the lord he was using it was using it he was abusing it was just you know enjoying with it not knowing that it was it was doing uh, his action was against the Lord. And from verses 2 to 5, we, we, we see there that there was an invisible hand that wrote something. He saw what was written. He couldn't decode it. He couldn't read it. But it, it, what was written there is many, many they kill per se. Now, he couldn't read it. He couldn't know the meaning. He needed somebody who know, who has the Lord as his Lord to be able to, to, to see what God is saying and to understand what God was passing across to him. What about Egyptians? In Isaiah chapter 31, verse 3, Isaiah chapter 31, let's read it. Let's go there together to read Isaiah uh, chapter 31, I will take it from verse 1. Isaiah chapter 31. From verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they Look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Verse 2. Yet he also is wise, and will bring the evil, and will not call back his, his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers, and against the help of them that walk in equity. Verse 3. Now the Egyptians are men, and not God. And their horse is flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is helped shall fall down, and they all shall fall together. Hallelujah. Now, 
this is the Lord speaking to another one who called himself Lord. So if we live a life of pride, we do ourselves a great harm. Because there is nothing we have or there's nothing we are that it is not God that has made it possible. It is very important to learn from this lesson and know that God is a consuming fire. May the Lord will consume us in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm trying to let us see when we are talking about Jesus being the Lord over everything. Whatever we pass through, whatever we, 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 is our setback, we must know that Jesus Christ is still the Lord over that thing. But what God is expecting us to do is that we must make this Jesus our Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord in the life of anyone who accepts Jesus Christ into his life. It is not coming to church that you are a Christian. You may call yourself Christian, but it's God calling you a Christian. So if Jesus Christ is Lord over your life, then he will take charge of everything about you. He will not allow the enemy to be able to harass you in any way. Yes, as a Christian, you, you, you have to pass through uh, sufferings. But he says to us that we should be cheerful. He has overcome the world for us. Is it possible for us to overcome the world by ourselves? It's not possible. Even those who call themselves Lord, they know that they still have to be helped. So, I, I encourage you that you should not place, don't misplace your priority. If you are fasting, you may fast for 96 days. If it is possible, you can fast for more than that, uh, those days. But Christ Jesus must be in you because Christ in us is the hope of glory. If Christ is not in the life of anyone, the devil will just be making nyanga of that person. Harassment. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will be mighty more than ever before in our lives in Jesus' name. I want to encourage you, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ into your life, you've been praying, you've been fasting, you know, people have prophesied. Even people have told you so many things. But nothing is coming to pass. It is important for you to re-examine yourself. And make sure that that claim of being a Christian, whether it is true or not. You know, many of us say, eh, God has not answered our prayers. God, has not, uh, God is a prayer answering God. But God may not answer some prayers though. He, he, he may not answer it if we are praying to have it at our own time. Because if he's going to answer it, he will answer that prayer in his own time. So, but if we are praying and we feel, oh, God is not answering prayers. When our hands are not clean, when we do not have Jesus as our Lord, we are deceiving ourselves. Because it is not God's expectation that when we gather in his presence with bodies, we come into his presence with bodies, with so many concerns, you know, you know, we used to sing, Majenda, Bakanamo, Forward Tommy, Baba. Yes, that's, I, 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 it is good for us as Christians to know that there are some songs, there are some prayers that are just at the singing level. They don't go, they don't go to fulfillment. Because our life does not conform to what we are saying. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ is Lord. If you are sick, you have prayed, you have fasted, and nothing is happening, please, I want you to examine yourself. See whether you have any, any, any sin or you have not really accepted Christ. Or check whether there is one character trait inside of you. Maybe anger. <laughs> you know, everything about the kingdom of God is perfection. We are growing towards perfection day in, day out. If
if you call yourself a Christian and you don't bother, you can go and fight in the market when, they, when anybody is talking, you are ready to yank off your dress and begin to fight. You say, I'm, I'm in the church. I'm not in the church premises. They will not see me. You are doing what is inside of you because uh, the Bible says, whatever we say out from our mouth proceeds from the inside. May our, may our soul be uh, regenerated in the name of Jesus Christ. I say may our soul be regenerated in Jesus' name. You know, <laughs> I had an experience with somebody some years ago. You know, it's, it's a friend to, my, to one of my brothers. And he came to my house. I am not married then. If there is one, if I have a brother, if he's in church, he will be hearing what I'm saying now. So, his junior brother, the brother here, his own junior brother, you know, came with a friend to my house. And I didn't know that that, that boy used to practice uh, talisman, what uh, sorcery. I didn't know. But that was the day, I mean, that was the week, the week it came was the week I had an encounter with Jesus. Because I was in my dream and I discovered a lion was pursuing me uh, and I just got to the brink of a river. I, I just stopped and the lion disappeared. On the other side, I saw Jesus. And he said, come. I said, I wanted to come, but you see, if I if I should jump from there, I will sink in the mud. It's okay, look into my eyes. So as I looked into his eyes, two strong rays came from his eyes and touched my eyes. I said, yeah, 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 oh, me, oh, me, oh, me, my eyes, my eyes. And I woke up. I know I suddenly found that I was where he was standing. And I didn't know that I had fallen from the bed. I was laughing. I was on the floor. I was laughing. I was laughing. I said, ah! I was laughing. I didn't. So I opened my eyes. I discovered I was on the floor. I was on the floor. So a week after, this boy came. They didn't know the encounter I had, not knowing that Jesus <laughs> is already inside of me. So he came. And he used to, according to him, he used to command some spirit to come and give him ring or some things. I don't know. But that morning, somebody that was so respectful greeted me. Oh, Epele, sir. Epele, Epele, Epele. So I discovered that as, we, as I just woke up, I saw him. He became very hostile, very disrespectful. He just looked at me and said, Ah, Epele, I will not be coming to you again. You disrupted the, <laughs> you disrupted the angel, the, you called it, eh? the spirit. You disrupted the spirit. They were supposed to come and deliver and that because they were angry, they slapped him. If you saw his eyes, red, pure red, two eyes. This, I'm talking reality. Ayo, are you here? Ayo. No, that's the friend of the junior brother to him. Because I brought all of them to him, but here. And that junior one here, he, he came to my house and he said, I was just looking at him. I didn't know I was looking at scans. I said, Me, oh man, got too so. Then I, I got back home and I began to sing. You know, it's just that sweetness. I don't know how it, inside of me like this. I was so serious. I was happy. That was how God separated me from them. And I had to find my way. That was when I got my wife. And to the glory of God. Uh, we began to do the journey. Please give a round of applause to Jesus. No, I didn't just praise the Lord. I didn't just give you that uh, experience. I didn't just explain it. I said that that is if Jesus is in you, no power. I didn't. If I had prayed, Father, don't allow the spirits to come. Maybe I would have said this because I prayed. I did not even know, but I knew that the presence of evil spirits in that house will have done so many things. Well, I've done so many things, but God didn't allow him to. So, he, he, since he left that place, any time he had that, I, I, I came home, he won't come. He won't come to see me, to, just to greet me at all. I say, ah, oh my, oh my God. 
Hallelujah. May the presence of God be with you continually in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ is Lord. The, the spirit he wanted to conjure, should be, is, they, they have the agent. They have the Lord that is controlling them. They have the power that is controlling them. But yet there is a power that is the power of that power. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. So it is important for us to know that no matter the power, no matter the trouble, no matter... You see, this morning, I believe God very strongly in my heart. I said to God, ah, please, give me a word that I will speak. I have prepared this. I say, I am ready to alter uh, anything you want me to alter. But as I came this morning, God said, I've given you what you will say. And I just came here, I saw that everything was good. And I look at the glory voices, I say, we carry and go today. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I look at everybody. I say, everything, even the song. When the general pastor came up to talk about, I said, talking about the Lord, the chief of Jesus Christ. I know that. So please, I want you to key into what God is doing here today. If you are sick, if you are in one problem or the other, if you have an age-long issue, you know you have prayed, you have gone to mountains, you have you have trusted God and in your heart you are feeling as if God does not answer prayer. I tell you, God answers prayers. God answers prayers. And he answers prayers here. He will answer your prayer in Jesus' name. Can you raise up your hand and say, God, please answer me today. Please visit me today. Jesus, you are Lord. You are Lord over my life. You are Lord over my situation. You are Lord over my circumstances. You are Lord over my setbacks. You are Lord over my concerns. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, we also have those who surrendered to the Lordship of the Lord. We have, have cited it. And one example is Daniel. You know, in Daniel chapter 1, verse 8, Daniel started by not polluting himself with the king's meat. He separated himself for holiness. He made very clear instruction. He told the cook, please, don't bother to give me food. Oh. I'm not going to eat the king's meal. And you will discover that if the lordship of Jesus Christ is on you, people will know, they will know that there is God in you. They will know that they will know it. And in the case of Daniel, who was an officer with more than two kings, when problem came, they will call him. He will give so he will give solution. When trouble came, when they are confused, I mean, how can you imagine somebody who's, who slept in his bed, had a dream, didn't remember his dream? I needed somebody to tell him exactly what that dream was and tell him what the meaning was. Because the Lord, Daniel had the Lord as his Lord. He said, just give me some time. Let me go and ask my God. He saw the face of God and God revealed to him the, the dream of the king. And he came and told the king. And it was a serious matter. So he has so many encounters like that. And what about Peter in John chapter 6, uh, verse 68? John, he said to our Lord Jesus Christ, you have the, the word of life. He acknowledged Jesus as his Lord, that he, you are the only one who, has, who have eternal word. Where else should I get eternal word? It's only in you. It's not anywhere. I've been walking for many years and I've been on the sea. But you see, there, has no, there is no other word that is as eternal as the one you are speaking. And because he acknowledged the lordship of Jesus, you will discover that in John chapter uh, 21 verse 15, our Lord Jesus Christ said to him, feed my sheep. He committed great assignment to his hand. He committed ministry to his hand. He said, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Hallelujah. Have you made Jesus your Lord? 
or you want to rededicate your life to make Jesus your Lord and if you have not even made Jesus your Lord you have not accepted him as your Lord and Savior I want to encourage you today to please step out if you want to dedicate you can come if you are not if you have, are, are receiving him for the first time please come because Egyptians that are troubling you they are not God the Bible says their horses are not spirit so all the powers that we claim are worrying us all of them put together they are under the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah so if you know you have any problem this morning please I want your faith to rise and believe that I will not go back with that body because Jesus is Lord over that situation Jesus is Lord over whatever you have come to church with in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now I want us to take this song Jesus you are Lord Jesus you are Lord Jesus, you are holy. Jesus, you are holy. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are holy. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are holy. Jesus, 
Jesus is truly in you, I want you to call upon Jesus today. But if you know that you need Jesus, I want to plead with you, this is your time. This is your time. If you commit your way to the front here, it will be very good for you. Because Jesus, he will bring a turnaround this day into your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. If I, you want to accept him for the first time, please just stay in the middle here. You want to accept Jesus for the first time, you want him to be your Lord. Because if he is your Lord, every, every lordship that is troubling your life will give way. Jesus, you are Lord. Let's sing. Let's sing on. You are Lord.
Ina dawa sike la mshipa. Ina kere na kala basti po na basti kala mshipa. Ige zenga runga na basti po na mshipa ni kazi yema. Ige sike chikring kata pusi mbo mshipa ni kine basti po lima. The leaders took kata pora la basti po ni mshipa ni kala mshipa. Eri basti po la mshipa kala basti po la mshipa. Mori basti kala mshipa ni kala basti po la mshipa ni kai. Eri basti kete mero chupu shuka ni kala basti po. Thus says the Lord. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them. Even them that contend with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a non-existing thing. For the Lord thy God will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will be with thee. No power of hell no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hands. Hallelujah. Still he returns. Hallelujah.